Hello. Happy um, Sunday fun day. <laughs> How are we doing? I got my little thrift shop dress. I think it's so cute. Cute. A little. It was actually an earring I put on a chain, you know? So this is what we're dealing with today. <laughs> um, I'm going to ramble at you about today. Uh, I want to talk about um, creativity. Whether it shows up in your fashion, your art, your writing. Uh, I had a really beautiful moment yesterday where one of my clients, who I guess started coming see me about a year ago, brought in a copy of her first book. Oh! And it is a book of poetry. And it's really very rich and very vulnerable. And it's about her experiences with um, sexual trauma and her history with that, with having had that go on in her family of origin. Uh, and, um, and then with some abusive and toxic lovers and boyfriends. So it became a pattern because we repeat what we learn until we unlearn that and learn something better and different and healthier, right? But anyway, it's beautiful writing and um, she's only done a really small print run. So she, she and I have done a little work in the past. She did a project for me and I paid her. And, uh, and so, you know, we've kind of bartered some sessions and things too as well. So it's great. So it was just so proud of her. It was such a proud moment of She'd come in a year ago and said she wanted to write a book. And yesterday she brought me the book and gave me her one of her first 10 signed copy, copies. And I was so honored. And to me, that's the kind of book I want to read. Not these <laughs> cookie cutter, you know, best-selling author, celebrity tell-alls that really don't tell anything. <laughs> and then get pumped out through Oprah and to the masses. And that's not rich and juicy and personal and deep. Uh, it's polished and slick and it's spin to me. This was very heart-to-heart -heart moment with me and this woman and I was just so happy that you know a lot of people tell me they want to write a book a lot of people tell me they should write a book a lot of people think I'm gonna write their book <laughs> that's not happening <laughs> I get too many up here and in here of my own um but this one actually did it she saw it through and then someone sent me a stat and I'll have to look it up to be sure but it was something like only 24 percent of the population actually write a book and only 3% uh, are published. And that, I guess that might be like getting a real book deal like I was fortunate enough to do through Fintorn Press in 2016 and then have my book be endorsed by Elizabeth Gilbert, which was amazing. So I'm in the top 3%, I guess, of the literary realm. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Even if it wasn't a bestseller, even if it didn't make me money, and even if it wasn't endorsed by people I would have hoped would have read it and endorsed it so what that's you know their, their lack of taste and <laughs> and kindness you know um but I wrote it for me I wrote it for you it is out there it is an expansion on the meme of dear human that went super mega crazy stupid viral and then I expanded and expounded upon the concepts within it so I kind of go well whoever's meant to read it will whoever likes it will and whoever isn't or doesn't won't <laughs> that's that so I used to have fantasies and dreams of being on bestseller lists in the talk show circuit. And now as I see the people that are on there and doing that, I'm like, mm, I'm good. You know, I, I have this, I have you, I have this, I have my soul. <laughs> didn't sell it, didn't sign anything in blood, didn't, uh, don't have to go and tap dance for, you know, likes or, you know, anything like that. Although if you want to like stuff, cool, like it put on this eyeshadow and I'm rethinking it <laughs> it's a little much <laughs> but anyway so if you're out there and you have a dream in your heart however big the scale is or however tiny uh do it for you don't do it for lists or accolades or trophies which at the end of the day and the end of life mean nothing you do it to get your story out to where it wants to go to whoever is ready to experience it and who will you know honor it or not like it and be triggered by it and learn and grow from that it's all good you can't you know it's win-win you can't lose so I am considering her a published author as of yesterday and I said look I'm going to do this for you so I just gave her a buck I said like here's your first you know because she was going to give it to me for free and really wanted to do that and I didn't want to dismiss the gift aspect of the moment but I wanted to symbolically say you are now a published and paid author with your first copy of your first book 
Oh, you guys, that's better than any little golden trophy dust collector, or any shiny thing. It was just such a heart moment, such a, you know, if you have that creativity spark inside you, do it, you know, just do it. Don't think about where it's going to go or who it's, who's it's going to land with or who it isn't. Just do it for you. Okay, it's enough. It's plenty. Peace.